the top of the light heavyweight division for a long time. Of course, he came perilously close to winning the title, that split draw with Jan Bohovic at UFC 282. Ankalaya with another huge fight in front of him here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Johnny Walker! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world! Referee Herb Dean will handle the action in the octagon. All right, early round action here, and if we had a fantasy draft for light heavyweights, perhaps Magomed Ankalaev would be the number one pick right now. Fan base absolutely bullish on this man's future. He's got to keep pressing here. Oh, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are crawling early. Those guys came to fight from the moment the referee said go. Oh, and now an uppercut. Oh, my goodness. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this fall. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't prove how tough you are. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Oh, beautiful kick to the head. Three minutes now to go in this one. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, you're going to land one. That's going to shut everything down. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Goliath gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. All right, now you see some visible damage on that calf. We'll keep an eye on that. You got to watch it. I mean, this kick is so damaging. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Uncle Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Johnny Walker looking fluid on the feet here early. I'm not sure anybody loves fight night and fighting as much as Johnny Walker, dancing and smiling on his way to the octagon. This is a man who is truly able to compartmentalize what is going on, and I think it works to his advantage as a fighter. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walked back to the corner.
All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Walker's bruised on that right calf now, so that'll bear watching as this fight continues. Low kicks definitely having an effect in this fight. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, that's a good strike there by Magomed Ankalaev. Wow, huge head kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his... Oh, his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. That leg kick hurt. Uppercut. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has cleared it. Found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. There's the kick, it's blocked. Walker's bleeding from the mouth now, a cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, lands a nice straight. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep that pressure. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a tumble either. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this, you up, go get him. We might get a stoppage here. Gets back to his feet. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, Ready to fight? Ready. Come Here on. we go, third round of this round. Oh, that's the biggest shot the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Big uppercut. Let's go. That's a great shot. Sniff that one out as he blocks it. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Stop it's win for
for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault, a flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 42 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Well, this crowd has yet to come down from that.